Welcome to the opening day of the Royal Palm Meet here at Gulfstream Park. We've got eight races on the card. We'll send it upstairs to Pete Aiello with the scratches and the changes. Partly cloudy conditions for horse racing today with temperatures in the mid-70s. The main track fast, the Tapita track fast, we are off the turf. In race one, scratch number five, pure crazy groove. Racing at Gulfstream, level beginning. From the inside, Cooler King hunting the early lead for Jaramillo, and he'll get there. Cooler King to the top. Tejolta comes away in second at the rail. That's an improving Norfie into third. Out in the center, 16 cigarettes moves up, and in between horses, Smoke and Bow. The early trailer is Danley. The early leader is the second choice, Cooler King. Cooler King to the far turn on top by a length. Norfi with an inside lane up on the outside. 16 cigarettes in between horses. Tejota shuffling back. Smoke and Bow and Danley is last. 22 and 4 for the opening quarter. Three eighths of a mile away. Cooler King tries to braven up and kicks away to a three length lead. Norfi is driven in second with 16 cigarettes. Third at the 5 sixteenths. Tejota is now fourth with a quarter of a mile left to go. Cooler King on top two and a half. Vasquez keeping after Norfi to try to stay in range. Third is 16 cigarettes. Back to fourth. That's Tejota. They're at the top of the stretch. Cooler King an eighth of a mile out and two on top, but he's shortening up a touch. Here comes Norfi charging hard on the outside side and Norfi has gained the upper hand with a 16th to go. A smart and strong ride from Miguel Vasquez. Norfi proving best. Norfi to win by two and a half. Cooler King second, 16 cigarettes third. Tejolta finished fourth in 112 and three. They're off. The favorite 30 pound test, not an exceptionally good beginning. He was slow into stride, but he does save his inside position so he doesn't have to check. The early advantage goes to David Songs, who's on top by two. On Tondra, down at the inside, is second in the middle. It's wine goggles into the top flight. Up on the outside, embrace the dream. Back behind the speed is 30 pound test. Then back to Ruby's Big Red, the two at the back, super iconic, and Frank's Mimi. Into the far turn they go with David Songs clear by two. Three wide, it's Embrace the Dream at the rail on Tondra from between horses, wine goggles. Moving to the four wide side is 30 pound test for some clean racetrack as they pass the 5 16th. The opening quarter was just 23 seconds flat. The leader is David Songs trying to braven up. He's on top by a length and a half off cover. On Tondra tries to go after him second. 30 pound test on the far outside. Embrace the Dream is next. They're at the top of the stretch. The leader is David Songs on top by a length on Tundra. Set down driving to try to go get him. Three back to 30 pound test. He's got a lot to do with less than an eighth to do it. And Joe Bravo and on Tundra have set forward to take the lead. Jacks are better colors. One, two here on Tundra is a five to one upset winner. David Songs clings to the place. 30 pound test. The start certainly hurt him. He was third from well out of it. Frank's meeting is up for fourth to complete the super in one ten and four.
Great start for Basketball Jones, who will look to be the early pace setter from Forwardly, who's exactly that second up on the outside. Red's Revenge is three wide and joins the top flight to race in third. Las Olas is together with this dude, a breeze. He floats him out of touch, the early trailer, Chacharero. They make their way around the first turn, and up on the outside, Red's Revenge is up and around to take the advantage with Basketball Jones battling right back toward the inside. It's a length and a half to forwardly with the gray Las Olas nearest the outside. He's racing about two lengths off the lead. They've gone four ahead of this dude, a breeze, and still at the back is Chacharero. They make their way now past the quarter in 24 seconds flat. With the advantage, Basketball Jones by a length. Red's Revenge second, forwardly third. Las Olas is there fourth. This dude, a breeze, patiently handled by Chris Landero, second last, and Chacharero out the center. They have less than half a mile to run. The half mile was a picked up, 47 and 3. Basketball Jones went a quick second quarter and leads by a length. Las Olas is there second. Forwardly out the rail is third. Chacharero now races into fourth from this dude, a breeze who had some traffic trouble to negotiate, dropping to last Red's Revenge. They pass the 5 sixteenths. Basketball Jones tries to stretch him out. Las Olas in range while second. Forwardly, he's at the rail in third, trying to wind it up from the back as this dude, a breeze, and they're at the top of the stretch. Three quarters, 112 and 3. Basketball Jones tries to find another. Another gear, Las Olas and Forwardly both trying, trying to shift ground and come on as this dude a breeze past the eighth pole. The leader is now Forwardly, this dude a breeze launching his bid on the outside. 16th to go, Forwardly in front, this dude a breeze one more time. Forwardly just the leader and Forwardly will get the job done. This dude a breeze was a hard ride. He was second, Basketball Jones third, Chachero is fourth in 142 and four. They're off. Leaning in at the break was Gioso, and that caused Raina Mar and Reliable Lady to bounce around. Out in the middle, Divine goes out looking for the early lead, but here's Gioso moving up to challenge her for the advantage. Away in third, that's the force be with you. Out of there, fourth is Dreaming of Katie, down inside Reliable Lady. Two and a half to Raina Mar, and Gouldian is the early trailer with Divine in front. Divine and Edwin Gonzalez take tons of late play and lead down the backstretch by a length and a half. Splitting horses, Reliable Lady goes into a three-wide flanking position. After the rail, it's G. Also. Up to the center goes the Force Be With You in front of Dreaming of Katie, then improving as Gouldian, and Raina Mar is now last. 24-2 and two for the opening quarter. Divine by a length. On the outside, Reliable Lady is second toward the rail. Gio also is now racing in third. Dreaming of Katie picks it up to take fourth. The Force Be With You and Gouldy are next, and Raina Mar is last as they round the far turn. They went to half in 47-4. and four. The leader is Divine by a neck. On the outside, Reliable Lady keeps the pressure on second. Gio also third at the inside. Two and a half back to Dreaming of Katie with five sixteenths to go. Out on the outside, it's still Reliable Lady and Divine shuffling back pretty severely with Gio also. Paco had the door slammed on him there with Dreaming of Katie back forth. They're at the top of the stretch. Divine on the inside fights back to take the lead. Reliable Lady will have to try again. Off cover. G. Also is now third. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Divine is finding second. Reliable Lady third. G. Also, but Divine is kicking clear. It's Divine for Trainer Safi Joseph Jr. to win it by four in the end. Reliable Lady was second. G. Also ran third and fourth was Dreaming of Katie in 139. Flat. Coast Pick 5. $1 minimum. 
player-friendly 15% takeout. Coast to Coast Pick 5, every weekend. Middle likes gamble was away quickly, so is me De Niro from nearest the inside. K crowns on the far outside. Kasike Abario is off heels and angles widest of all. Down at the rail, it's Echo Lane racing in front of Darth, who's third last. Second last, don't be so grouchy. The early trailer, silent and violent. And they run around the first turn. Long shot me De Niro has the lead by half a length. K Crown is there second. Moving up between on the far outside, Kasiki Barrio is now third in between horses. at Sykes Gamble and at the rail, Echo Lane. They're followed by Don't Be So Grouchy, who's on a strong hold inside of Darth, and Silent and Violent is last. The opening quarter was very ordinary, just 25 seconds flat. Doing battle up front, it's K-Crown outside of the inside, Mi De Nero. Their heads apart, up to third, while three wide is Sika CK Aborio. In the yellow colors, that's Echo Lane, who's patient at the fence, a length and a half in front of a dropping back Ike Scamble. Don't be so grouchy, moves at the rail. Silent and Violent is at the back of the field with Darth as they round the far turn. They went to half in 49 and 3, and they move now around the turn. On the inside, it's still me, De Niro, nursing a head advantage. On the outside, in K-Crown alongside second, Echo Lane. He's called on and launched into the clear three wide. Following him through, don't be so grouchy. Red blinkers into fourth. Kasike Abario has dropped back. The rest are too far back to land a blow as they reach the top of the stretch. K-Crown comes away with the lead. Off the turn and the stretch drive. K-Crown on top by two. Echo Lane with every opportunity to go get him. Five ahead of an on-running silent and violent. They come past the eighth pole. Outside Echo Lane starts to wear down. K-Crown. Echo Lane to the top. Echo Lane is in front. K-Crown second, up for third, silent and violent, back to fourth. Don't be so grouchy in 141 and four. They're off. In the middle, Drafaros gets the first call and lands the early lead from Music City Star and Cousin Christie's along the rail. In between horses, Starship Nala out wide as Love Appeals and out the back is Amonra, but she's not far away, no more than three lengths from first to last in the run to the half-mile point. In the purple colors, it's Drafaros in front to half a length, Music City Star second. Love Appeals is in the red cap on the far outside, moving out the rail, Cousin Christie. In between horses, Starship Nala and out the back is Amonra, who has the opportunity to launch to the clear. The opening quarter was 22 and 1 as they round the far turn. Drafaros has the lead. On the outside, Love Appeals is a closer second. Back to third, Music City Star. Underway is Amonra checking off heels with Starship Nala. Shuffled the last cousin, Christie. The three favorites are now 1 2 3, a quarter of a mile from home. In between horses, Love Appeals trying to get Drafaros, who has inside position. On the outside, that's Amonra. They straighten for the drive. Drafaros still has the lead. Love Appeals in between horses, and on the outside, it's Paco on Amonra. Amonra, Amonra rising forward now to take the lead. Drafaros is trying to fight back second. Third is Love Appeals. Amonra under light and confident handling. Second is Drafaros. Third, Love Appeals. Fourth, Starship Nala in 111 and 3.
and they're off. Picture perfect start. In the middle, it's Ice the Kicker who gets the first call. Moving out the rail, designated hitters on the go. Out the center, Heathcliff away in the top flight. These three are quickest. Away in fourth is Beyond Reproach. Floating out a bit deep is the Honeyman. Off heels a touch, Go Go G. And widest of all, Magic Shadow. Around the first turn they go at the back of the field. Go Go G is not happy fighting the rating as there's not much pace on. It's Ice the Kicker on top by a length. Heathcliff is second. Over racing a touch between is Beyond Repoach and at the rail designated hitter. Out three wide the Honeyman, four wide Magic Shadow, and still very hard to handle and not happy with the tempo at all is Go Go G. Down the back stretch they go, separated by three and a half lengths. Ice the kicker has the lead by an neck. On the outside, Heathcliff is there second. Deep on the course, yellow colors. Magic Shadow is there third. In between horses, beyond reproach, and along the rail goes designated hitter. Then back to the outside, it's the Honeyman, and Go Go G is last. Now the pace quickens, some mid-race moves being made. Jaramillo, the first to attack with designated hitter, who moves through inside to take the lead. Ice the kicker tries to quicken with him. They've gone ahead of Heathcliff. Magic Shadow is next. In between runners, the Honeyman at the rail beyond reproach, and at the back is Go Go G. Around the far turn they go. The leader now designated hitter, rebid from Ice the Kicker, second. The Honeyman getting ready to launch into the clear. He's now third. Back to fourth, Magic Shadow. They're at the top of the stretch. Inside, designated hitter shortening up a touch. Ice the Kicker right back at him. Are they both sitting ducks for the Honeyman? Here comes the Honeyman charging hard on the outside. Final eighth of a mile. It's Ice the Kicker in front. The Honeyman is second, but but Ice the Kicker still there. The Honeyman running out of time. Here's the wire that's still Ice the Kicker. Ice the Kicker held off the Honeyman. Designated hitter made that big move, but he flattened out to be third. Close after that, beyond reproach or Heathcliff in 143 and three. away. Tough start for Jerry's turn. He was about four lengths slow. alley -oop Johnny away the best and reaches out for the early lead. Treasure King moves up around horses to take second from a headstrong the great Oz who's in tight toward the rail. Third out in the middle. Smart Striker at the rail. Jerry's turn and Sigrun Fastboy between. Not much pace on here. They chase the favorite up front. It's alley -oop Johnny in front by a length over Treasure King in second. The Great Oz under a snug wrap in third. Outside that smart striker in fourth in front of Sigrun Fastboy. And it's been a nightmarish early uh, run for Jerry's turn. He was slow into stride. Now he's fighting the rating. 25 and 4 for a dawdling opening quarter. The leader is Aliyub Johnny and Edgar Zayas in front to half a length. Treasure King latched on to him second out in the middle. That smart striker in third. The Great Oz is the gray at the inside in fourth, followed by Sigrun Fastboy and Jerry's turn. The tactical chess match continues through a 50 and four half mile speed. Aliyub Johnny getting a soft time of it on the top end. The same could be said for Treasure King, who's on the outside second. Three wide smart striker is now third. Locked in is the Great Oz. Getting started, Sigrun Fastboy. And the trailer is Jerry's turn. Around the far turn at the 5 16ths, and now the pace quickens. In between horses, it's Treasure King along the rail, Aliyub Johnny. Three wide smart striker driven into fourth is Sigrun Fastboy. They're at the top of the stretch. Aliyub Johnny fights back toward the inside and still has the lead. In the middle, that's Treasure King. Outside, it's Smart Striker. Less than an eighth to come. Aliyub Johnny by a length and a half. Treasure King flat to the boards to try to go get him from the outside, Smart Striker. But the opening quarter just too slow as Aliyub Johnny goes down the road. Treasure King second, Smart Striker third, Sigrun Fastboy to complete your super. 142 and four. That wraps up opening day of the Royal Palm Meet. We'll be back with you tomorrow. That's Friday for a 110 post time with an eight race card. Have a good night.